see a question from linear differential equation with constant coefficient so in this type of question we need to find the complementary function and the particular integral so let's first proceed with the complementary function part so for that convert this uh, from this form to d form what is the d form this can be written as d square minus 2d plus 1 times y equals to x e power x sin x now again we need to find the auxiliary equation so replace d by m so m square minus 2m plus 1 equated to 0 now this is uh, m minus 1 the whole square equals to 0 from here you are getting m equals to 1 and 1 which are repeated roots so we can write the complementary function as c1 plus c2 times x multiplied by e power the common root times x so e power 1x now coming to the particular integral because complementary function we have done now look at this now we had a rule for something of this form e power x times v e power ax times v where v was any function of x so in this question if we take like this e power x multiplied by x sin x then we can use this rule so uh, what I am doing is for particular integral will be 1 upon f of d which is d minus 1 the whole square operating on e power x into x sin x and what was the rule bring this e power x out replace d by d plus a where a is coefficient of x which is 1 in this case so if i replace this d by d plus 1 so i can write this as d plus 1 and i have one minus 1 also whole square now this will operate on the remaining thing which is x sin x now uh, 1 and 1 will get cancelled you are only left with e power x now opera operation will only be done on x sin x now 1 upon d square operating on x sin x ok uh, fine till now now uh, you can again use the rule for x into a function of uh, sin x ok so you can you are free to use that rule or we may also opt for one another option that we can write this as 1 upon d into 1 upon d where 1 upon d is integral so we have to do that integration twice so uh, let's go with the first choice rather than doing integration twice i can write this as e power x now x times sin x so what was the uh, formula for that x minus derivative of this thing which is 2d divided by this thing only d square and 1 upon f of d which is d square operating on x sin operating on the remaining thing which is sin x ok fine so this will be e power x uh, this will be x minus 1 uh, 2 upon d and here first of all solve this so sin ax what we used to do replace d square by minus of a square which is minus of 1 in this case so we will get uh, minus sin x here after solving now this is 1 up upon minus 2 by d okay 
now take bring this minus sin x inside so you will get e power x x multiplied by sin x x multiplied by minus sin x and minus 2 by d multiplied by this so minus minus plus 2 and 1 by d times sin x now this is easier than uh, doing integration twice so e power x minus x sin x 1 upon d is nothing but the integral so integral of sin x dx so e power x minus x sin x integral of sin x is minus cos x so minus 2 cos x take minus out so minus e power x uh, x sin x plus 2 cos x you will be getting the same answer but through a different approach uh, uh, from here you would have done a different approach also e power x what I was talking earlier you would have written this as 1 upon d into another 1 upon d operating on x sin x then you would have written this like this 1 upon d 1 upon d is nothing but integral and then you would have solved this by using integration by part then again whatever result will come you will again integrate that with respect to x to get this only so this was a smoother process so i opted for this now my final answer is cf plus pi so y will be cf uh, c1 plus c2 times x and into e power x plus your pi so i am writing minus e power x x sin x plus 2 cos x this is your final answer now what all rules i have used first rule if the roots are repeated so i have used the rule for complementary function as c1 plus c2 times x has there been three repeated roots so c3 times x square whole multiplied by e power repeated root times x first rule this was the first rule second rule which i used was for e power ax times v where what i did ki uh, maine uh, e power x ko bahar le aaye denominator mein jo bhi function hai wahan d ko d plus a se replace kiya yahan a1 tha aur baki remaining fun function pe usko operate kiya uske baad hum yahan tak pahunche to fir ek aur rule humne lagaya x into a function of v wala जिसमें हम क्या करते हैं x minus derivative of this divided by the function into 1 upon uh, that uh, function of d operating on जो भी x के साथ रहता है बस वो किया उसके बाद दो तीन चार स्टेप करने के बाद हमारा आंसर तो आ ही गया